Deck check! Welcome back to Deck Check, the first and only unscripted, unsupervised, unhinged 10 minute testing rip off. I am Sheen Estevez, <laughs> here with my Ultra Lord shirt that chat paid me to buy. So I, I thought long and hard about what to do for the deck check in the Ultra Lord shirt, and I figured I should just do whatever deck makes me bat chest the most, and I didn't have a new Utopia build ready, so we're playing Math Mech. This is similar to uh, the build that topped the South American uh, Championship. It's a bit of an amalgamation of the two different Math Mech decks that topped. It's got the Spirits from the one build, and the weird-ass hand trap ratios from the other build. So. If you have any complaints about them, uh, go bother those guys. Now this deck is going to aim to be making terahertz, even though I personally dislike terahertz, but I'm willing to give them another shot because I I know I know mercy and forgiveness. I am a charitable. <laughs> I, I I'm full of charity and grace, and I'm willing to give him a second chance after he lost to Vishuda the first time I ever tried to play him. Axel, this is the seventh week in a row you've showed Math Mech to the class. It's actually kind of interesting. Even though I like Math Mech, I feel like I never play it on stream anymore. Barely ever play it on, on the channel. I think the only Math Mech video I have on the channel is the time that I topped the uh, the MCS. And nobody watched that shit because it was two hours long. I should have made like a, like a shorter video with that list. Like maybe just like a deck profile and like... Maybe one one of the ma one of the matches. The spring ads math that count. Okay, that's that's true. I watched it live. That's true. A lot of y'all were there live. Fuck you. No hand traps. Fuck. Oracle of Zephra. Okay, okay, we win. Okay, that's that's true. So what's this deck all about? It's about math. It's about drive. It's about power. I'm so Zephra core. Very true. You know, here's what we're going to do to spice up this deck check a little bit. We're going to add in 10 hours of silence, occasionally broken up by the Taco Bell bong. I play this when I need to keep the computer on so that I can upload videos. Uh... Because if the if the computer like if the computer turns off when I'm uploading a video, uh, sometimes it just won't work right. So I, I leave on the Taco Bell video. Oh, they just did not. They just ended on nothing pass. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, I thought they were gonna do something. No, it turns out they didn't want to do nothing. Okay. Um, I guess we can do like the like this line. We don't even need the small world if we don't have to. Why Zephyr Metal Foes? Uh, yeah, it's Metal Foes Yang Zing, and I guess they're play like they're playing the Zephyrs because they have a uh, Zephronyu, which is good in is good in Yang Zing in addition to being good in Zephra. This is a deck that Dino has been kicking around for a little while because he's stupid. <laughs> I love making fun of my viewers. It's so good. We're flipping up the combination. I'm pretty sure this doesn't do anything. Yeah, thankfully, thankfully Dino queued up with dog shit. Cause you know, without Dimax here, like I thought, I thought no one would be able to do that for us. And we already have the super factorial, so we just get equation here. And yeah, now we just make um we just make update access. Shout out to Joshua Schmidt. Limiting circular really really, really uh really did so much. This deck beat cash at locals. <laughs> Imagine update access code. Uh, does uh, <laughs> uh, try exclamation point jammer. Yeah, there it is. 
Folks, if this card is sent to the Grave Artist Link material, that Link monster can make a second attack during each battle phase this turn. By the way, that text does not do what it says it does. Because it seems like a mandatory effect. But yeah, it's not a hard once per turn, so if, um... If Transcode gets, like, Veilered, you should still put the Jammer on it so that it has, uh, the double attack. This is Nine Pillars. Okay. Uh, so I, in the last video, I asked people to sandbag for me more often, so, um, thank you, Dino. I really appreciate it. Battle Fader. We still have the negate from Diameter is the thing. That's the funny shit. Awesome. Great deck, Dino. Beats Cash, though. Alright, let's get let's try and get one game that makes me bat chest, right? Because that game was, okay, update access. Bat. But I need one that like really makes me go like BAT! We just need one game that we can bat chest at. As soon as chat spams bat, that's when that's when we'll call it for this deck check. <laughs> Fuck. Woo! This hand goes hard against something. Activate right next to attack, yeah. Fuck. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, this hand actually sucks against Cash Tira. <laughs> we got Book of Moon. Hopefully that goes in. This hand's a little a little trash all around. If you think about it. The longer I look at this hand, the more I wonder how how these cards want like topped like a. Uh, like a like a South American championship. If we top deck Imperm, then oh they're doing this shit. Okay. The deck check just start. No, we're 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 all we're almost done because we will bat chest at this one. Deal with it. <sighs> Deal with it. I don't think we're getting a better option. What did we lose? Show me the one super factorial in here. Nah, we didn't lose anything. Book is pretty good. I guess we book, um... I think we book like the Fenrir. If they summon this Fenrir from <laughs> Thank you, Taco Bell. Yeah, because we can play through Unicorn. Oh, we don't really have an Axis code, fuck me. <laughs> uh, it's gonna depend a lot on the draw. It's gonna depend a lot on the draw. Oh wait, no, they just make a rise hard on top of this one. Okay. Morganite? What? What is going on? What is going on? It's that easy. It's that easy. It's that easy. You're too good. I'm, I'm, now I'm bat chesting. Now I'm bat chesting. I'm, I'm, I'm bat chesting harder than I've ever been. Look, get, you know what, folks? I'm batting. Anyone, anyone else batting? Before you even ask, it's eight A's. It's bat with eight A's. Yeah. Evenly bat! Ah! 
when the bat is even. Evenly bat! Yes, yes! Trigger a rise art. I don't give a fuck. And honestly, I think what we do here is, first of all, book. Book it. Book that shit. Down. Down. <laughs> Just draw the out, folks. Oh, what? You're gonna banish them? You're gonna banish the book? <laughs> Foolish. Now we go Aratama. If they have a hand trap, I'll just kill. No hand traps. Go off, King. Morganite means no hand traps. Oh my god. <laughs> Bong. <laughs> also means they can't use Scareclaw Kashtira. Literally, what could they possibly be cooking? They're actually not cooking shit. They really want to draw two cards. Also can't special ride. What? What are they? Literally. It just... It... It gets dumber by the second. Like, the more I think of... I, I think I have to ignore it, or I'm just gonna be, like, stun-locked on it. I'm gonna need some blackout coffee <laughs> if we keep talking about this shit. Not yet. We need this thing. Um... Now we get... Diameter... Addition. That's cool. <laughs> Modern Give American football. Minutes. Thank you for the follow. Um, is there anything else we want to do? I guess we make like Lingaribo. I'm trying to think if there's like a way to out the Arise Heart before. Ah, eh, probably. Materials three plus. We could go like summon that there. Draw phase super effect. Then they have two cards in hand, and I'm all I'm on then is the diameter negate and the spell negate. So I want to be able to wield the super factorial a little bit more carefully. Thank you.
Did we do something like this? This doesn't feel amazing, but I think this is probably the best way to go about it so I can so I can use the um I can use my interruptions with a little more a little more grace behind them. <laughs> that draw two animation was so goofy. <laughs> Imperm- fuck this. Great. Uh, uh, no, yeah, thank you for- thank you for putting this Imperm in my deck list. I'm so happy about this information. This wouldn't have happened if we had summoned Terahertz, because we wouldn't have drawn. <laughs> Now, if they have birth, Super Factorial clears that easily. Super Factorial solos birth. Set one. Set one. Set. I want you to set. I dare you to set one. I dare you to set. Oh! Oh my god! Do you. The only thing that can make this funnier is if the Taco Bell sound goes off in like five, four, three, two, one. Okay, it didn't go off. Oh my. Oh my god. This is the. Si They're on Ash. They're on Ash with Morganite! What are they cooking? They're cooking fucking nothing! <laughs> this has been a real Planet Sheen moment. Math Mexico rises again. You could put our circle to one, but you can't keep us down for very long. We are the better player. We are the best deck now and forever. Uh, you can cry about it if you're... <laughs> you know who you are. There's then enough Joshua Schmidt jokes. <laughs>